Wave motion cells, like this 24-inch model, can crowd $300 if you go on the internet to buy one. Fortunately, they're fairly easy and inexpensive to make. For example, this one only took me two days, and most of that time was spent letting the cement cure, and it only cost about $25. Here's how I did it. First up, we make the wave cell. We'll need a 24 by 18 inch piece of plexiglass, nominally around a tenth of an inch thick, some plexiglass solvent cement, and a small rubber cork. Cut the plexiglass into six pieces. You'll need two side panels that are four inches tall and 24 inches long. A bottom and top plate which will be two inches wide and again 24 inches long. You'll need two end caps and because the side panels fit on the outsides of the bottom and top plate, these need to be slightly wider than these. For my plexiglass, which is 0.093 inches thick, this came out to be two and three sixteenths inches wide and four inches tall. Drill a hole near the top of one of the plates to receive the cork. I tried several techniques for cutting plexiglass and for me I found the best was a jigsaw with a 21 tooth per inch metal cutting blade in it. For the solvent cement to work its best, it's important to have these cuts made as straight as possible. No matter what method you use to cut the plexiglass, there's always going to be a few burrs and unevenness to the cut edge. So take a pick piece of 60 grit sandpaper on a very level surface and run it back and forth like this a few times to take those burrs off. It'll smooth out the surface and the solvent will make much better contact. This is also an opportunity to correct any problems with the dimensions. If one of your side panels, for example, is a little taller than the other, you can sand it down to the point where it matches. If you don't do this, if one side is taller than the other, then your uh, uh, wave cell is not going to be a perfect rectangle. When gluing the plexiglass pieces together, a layer of non-stick aluminum foil will prevent the pieces from being stuck to the work surface. Start by holding the pieces together and use strips of masking tape to compress the joint. Ease the vertical member backward to open up the joint to receive the glue. Then apply a thin, continuous, even bead of the solvent cement to the joint. The adhesive I'm using is Well Done Number 16 Clear Medium Bodied Solvent Cement. It produces a joint that's strong enough to be handled in just 20 minutes, but it requires an additional 24 hours to cure completely. Once the bead of glue is laid down, immediately rotate the vertical member back up and use a piece of wood to hold it into place so it cures in a perfectly perpendicular alignment. After 20 minutes, this joint is strong enough to move on to the next joint and so on and so on until the cell was done in about two hours. After that, I let it cure overnight to achieve maximum strength. And here's the completed cell. After I had attached the solid end cap, but before attaching the end cap with a hole in it for the cork, I moved it on end and filled it with water to make sure that all the joints were waterproof, and they were. And then I went ahead and cemented on the, uh, uh, the end cap with a hole in it. If there's one thing I'd do differently with this project, if I do it again, it would be to get several practice pieces of the uh, plexiglass and experiment with different techniques for applying the cement to get a nice even uh, weld between the pieces. If you look closely, you can see some droplets here and that's where I applied either too much glue or the glue, the glue sm uh, smeared. I might try using a water thin cement, in which case you just tape the, uh, the box together and apply the uh, uh, cement with a syringe to the edge and capillary action pulls it into the joint so you don't have to be applying the thick uh, cement like the uh, number 16 and uh, getting these glops which aren't too attractive. And here's the finished product. 
The cork I used to seal up the hole stuck in too far and it didn't look very attractive. So I used a razor blade to cut the inside off as short as possible and also shorten the outside. Once that was done, I sealed the cork in place with a piece of aluminum foil tape so it didn't accidentally pop out. Let's see what it looks like. I filled the uh, vessel with one-third water and added to that six drops of blue food coloring, which seemed to give a nice blue. The oil I'm using is baby oil. I found a very cheap house brand at Walmart that was only $2 for 16 ounces, and uh, it was absolutely water clear, and it gave a nice effect. All of the cooking oils I looked at were um, too yellow, and they weren't too attractive. If I had to do it again, I think I'd cut the water back to about a quarter instead of a third so that I have a little bit more uh, height for the waves to form. But this is looking pretty good to me. I hope you found this helpful if you're uh, thinking of building your own wave cell. And as always, thanks for watching.